वेलकम बैक यूर वॉचिंग पार ब्रेकफेस्ट ऑन सी एन बी सी टी वी एटीन बैक होम ऑन द लाल स्ट्रीट मार्केट सर्च फॉर द सेकंड कंजेक्टिव सेशन द निफ्टी क्लोज वेल अब द इलेवन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड मार्क एंड द सेंस एक्स एंडेड जस्ट अब थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड द ब्रॉडर मार्केट दे रोज इन लाइन विद द बेंच मार्क इंडिसीज एंड निफ्टी बैंक हिट अ रेकॉर्ड हाई फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सिंस ऑगस्ट लास्ट ईयर टू एंड क्लोज टू टू परसेंट इन द ग्रीन द मिड कैप्स एंडेड हाफ अ परसेंट हायर एंड वी हैव एकता बत्रा हु जॉइंस अस टू गेट अस ऑल द मार्केट क्यूज वी नीड टू वॉच आउट फॉर ट्रेड टुडे हाई एकता morning hi sonal morning well like you mentioned you know yesterday was a very good day in terms of the market momentum which really continued so we had the bank nifty made, which made fresh intraday record highs the bank nifty crossed that earlier high of 28388 on an intraday basis and the nifty is now over around 450 points away from a record high or breaching the record high of 1160 uh sorry 11760 the mid cap out index outperformance also continued yesterday so for example, example on a month to date basis the mid cap index is up over 7% versus the nifty which is up around 4.5% strong fii flows have really been the real support for the market so fii's have net bought since feb 20th in the cash market they bought over 24600 crores in the cash market as of current re reckoning and uh, we've seen that uh, play out in the rupee as well which appreciated to levels of around 69.7 in yesterday's trade versus 69.88 and uh, Uh, overall the market seems to be really supported by the election outcome hopes and india is catching up to the globe so for example year to date msci india index is up over 4% versus msci asia ex japan which is up around 10 odd percent and compare this to a month to date basis msci india is up around 6.8% versus msci asia ex japan which is up around 0.2% so there's definitely a bit of a catch up which is really taking place for india versus the globe in terms of queues today Strong FII flows continue. They've net bought 2,477 crores in the cash market. Uh, from the Brexit front, UK Parliament has rejected uh, Theresa May's EU deal again. Uh, U.S. markets ended mixed. We had really the Dow, which was down mainly because of Boeing, which was down around six odd percent. Asia, which is largely Uh, which is largely showing a little bit of a mixed picture at this point in time, mostly in the red at this point. And the SGX should come up for you as well. We have Brent crude, which is really not on our side today. It's at around sixty-six, sixty-seven dollars per barrel. So there's a little bit of slow inch up, which is taking place. So the SGX is indicating that maybe it could little be a little bit of a soft start. But whether or not there is a buy on dips opportunity, which comes through, will be something that the markets will await. CPI for uh, Feb. Was at two and a half percent versus our expectation of two point four percent. IIP also was a bit sluggish, so economists continue to expect maybe an April rate cut. Uh, the yield could probably see see some amount of a hardening. Levels to watch out for would probably be the next all-time high for the Nifty. The Nifty is currently above all of its day-moving averages. All right, Ekta. So uh, looking good for the markets as far as the momentum is concerned. Individual stocks. What are you watching out for? Well, Kotak, uh, because Kotak Mahindra Bank um, and versus the RBI in the Bombay High Court, Kotak Mahindra Bank Council says it's not easy for the promoters to sell stake in the bank, and the case is now adjourned till the first of April. SpiceJet will be in focus along with the other aviation companies. D DCG has finally decided to ground the Max 8 aircrafts by Boeing, and uh, Jet has said that additional aircrafts have been. rounded due to non payment of amounts outstanding to leasers and uh, remember that now it will probably become an opportunity for maybe the likes of indigo because spicejet's capacity would probably be a little reduced at this point hdfc life has given an update with regards to their ofs about exercising the over subscription option lakshmi vilas bank is going to meet on capital raising in march to consider issue price for equity shares to be allotted to qip uh, buyers and lastly mint is reporting that lnt is preparing a hostile takeover of mine tree so these are some stocks to watch out for all right ekta thanks a lot for joining us and giving us all those details